Thanks for joining us tonight. It took less than 30 seconds for Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald to shut down discussion on gun control legislation at the Capitol. He said the bills Governor Evers wanted them to discuss violated the Second Amendment. Amy rejoins us now to show us what people in Senator Fitzgerald's district think of the move. So Fitzgerald represents a good chunk of Dodge County. It's a section of the state that often goes red in elections and many people there support laws that reinforce the Second Amendment. But even if people agree with these bills not being passed, they don't agree with how it happened. At Walker's Restaurant in Beaver Dam. I always come here for breakfast. People are more focused on what they'll get to eat than what happens at the Capitol. We really like to have fattening stuff, their burger, because it comes with these, those, those, those fried onion things. Some say past frustrations made it easier to just stop paying attention, especially when elementary school workers say they see more progress at school. We have um, conversations, we talk about problem solving, we um, talk about social skills, and to have that at our level with working with kids, it'd be nice to see that at the level down in Madison also. Last night's 30-second session in Madison was no exception to that. The November 2018 special session Senate Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald opened and closed the session without discussion on two gun control bills. The pieces of legislation which would expand universal background checks and allow judges to temporarily seize guns from people who pose a threat infringe on constitutional rights, he says. I think if there are bills that would make sense to the Republican legislature that we would, um, we would call ourselves into, into regular session or extraordinary session to take those up. Lori Thomas agrees the bills themselves weren't good ideas. I think what happens with the laws, the good guys are penalized and the bad guys still get the guns. But she says the gavel in, gavel out done in both the Senate and the Assembly hours later only stops the conversation. Well, I don't think that's fair. There should always be discussion. There should be that option to be able to be heard. And the people across the diner agree it's time for a conversation, even if it's not over eggs and bacon. You need both sides, you need both perspectives in order to be able to move forward and get something done. After the assembly finished with its calendar session, Speaker Robin Voss followed the same procedure as the Senate. Gavel in, gavel out. Voss said the state needs to work with the laws we already have, not take on bills he said wouldn't pass.